What's up everyone? Today I'm very happy and, and excited to try out the Sewer Reactive Load. It's a load box, basically, so you can hook up your amplifier to it and record the signal of the amplifier into your audio interface and use uh, impulse or whatever you want to use. So, uh, yeah, this big piece of really nice box. <laughs> it looks good. It's, uh, it's kind of kind of big, I guess. I bought this to be able to compare it to the two notes reload reamp box that I have. There's a difference between these two. This is a strict load box. This is a reamp and a load box. So I'm using this. This is basically like the center hub for a lot of the stuff that I'm using when I'm doing reamps and stuff like that. I send my signals through here and from this to the amplifier and back etc. So it's a really awesome piece of equipment in that sense when I need to reamp. And uh, this is a load box, so I'm gonna compare the two and see if there's a difference, basically. So, yeah, let's check it out. I have my Randall Satan 50, and uh, where's the guitar? It's over here. It's over here. Guys, it's over here. Oh, that's a guitar stand that fell to the floor. I'm using this Solar A2.6 Trans Red. Uh, with a beautiful swamp ash. Can you see that? Look at that. Look at it go. Where are you going? Is there sound? No sound. Why is there no sound? Am I stupid? Because I am maybe a little bit stupid. It, it, it's awfully quiet. Oh! <laughs> Input. Of course. Of course. I knew it. There needs to be a cable inside the amplifier, otherwise it won't make sound. So right now what you're hearing is uh, an impulse that I loaded in to the, my UAD Apollo 8 interface. Just to get, you know, so I don't have to listen to the sound without an IR. The, the same sound without an IR or an impulse response sounds like this. That's the raw sound of the amplifier without a cabinet being used. So it's kind of unpleasant to listen to. So that's why I have an IR here. And it's uh, the power amp of an Engel Savage in plug-in form. Okay? So let me record a riff and we'll just see what happens. Okay? So I have one track for the Sur reactive load and one for the two notes reload. So let's do this. No click, please. Got it. Okay. It's a nice looking couple of tracks here. Let's, uh, let's listen, I guess. I loaded up uh, two notes, torpedo wall of sound for the impulse responses. And I have one and the same on the both tracks. So I guess this is a angle 60. I, I just took something. Okay, so let's listen. Let's listen to the two notes reload first, okay? See if there's a difference. And now the sore active reload. I think there's actually a small little difference in the clarity here. Um, if you listen to the palm mute section here. There's something with the sound. There's a little bit more bass in the two notes reload. I don't know if you can hear it, but I think it sounds like the sewer reactive load is actually a little bit more clear sounding in the low end than the Tumos reload.
there's definitely a difference between the two. So let me check that out. Let's add a match EQ and see if there's a difference to this little section here. So let's loop the full clip and we'll just see if EQ wise there is a difference between the two. So let's let's use the uh, two notes reload as a reference, okay? So listen to the suractive reload and uh, we'll see how they differ. That's some really boring riffing. I'm sorry about that. Uninspired. Okay, and now let's match. Ooh, okay. As you can see here, they're pretty much the same, to be honest. Uh, so what you're seeing right now is uh, how the sur reactive load would be needed to be EQ'd to sound like the two notes reload. And from the looks of it, it seems like the two notes reload has a little bit more low end here. You can see... Uh, uh, spike here. I think it's it's around four decibels that goes in a slope down here, and then it's basically the same. There isn't really that much difference, but I can definitely hear that the um, there's a little bit more clarity to the sur reactive load. But uh, I mean, the difference is so slight, really. It doesn't really. Ugh. I'm not sh too sure about the pricings of the reload and the reactive load. But uh, yeah, I mean, the reload is awesome because you have the reamping uh, option as well, where it sends the right type of impedance to the amplifier. So you have that function there. You, you know, you have the attenuator as well and the contour knob and, you know, a little bit more features to it. While this is really like a, it's a load box and that's it, basically. I think I like the clarity of this one a little bit more, but feature wise, I like the torpedo reload. I think it's going to stay in my uh, setup for sure. Now, yeah, Fuck, this is a boring video. What should I do to make it more interesting? Huh, okay. Ha! Die! <laughs> die! <laughs> ah! Ah! You don't know. Oh! Oh! It's a oh! It's a probably a quest character, so he doesn't die. That sucks. Ha! <laughs> oh! Too bad he doesn't die. Yeah. Yeah. Skyrim's kind of good on Switch, I guess. Okay. What else can you reamp? Okay, you porn. I don't know if you can hear the difference between the different load boxes in this sense, but I mean it's... Yeah. The reload might be a little bit bassier in this case, so... Yeah. I wonder how many subscribers I'm losing right now. There goes one. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been a great video. Uh, if you liked it, subscribe to my channel. And uh, see you next time, buddy.